Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to change Google Drive folder permissions. Now, if you use Google Drive like I do, you probably share folders with other people. Now, I'm going to show you how you can adjust the permissions of the people you share it with in this video. But first, please hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the like button. It really, really helps our channel out and we really appreciate it. Also, thank you for getting us to a thousand subscribers. We really appreciate that too. So please keep us growing and we'll keep putting out good content. Okay, now back to this. How to change Google Drive folder permissions. Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to get onto our Google Drive. Now, the first what I like to do, log into your Gmail account that you have your Google Drive attached to. I'm logged into mine. Once you're logged in, you'll see your icon at the corner top right here. The little dots right here, the Google Apps, you're going to click on that icon. And when you click on it, you're going to go down the list and find the drive. The drive's right here. We're going to click on that. And now that we're in our Google Drive, now we're going to see some folders that obviously we have. Um, I'm going to start with this one. Now let's say I want to share the folder right now, or I want to actually, we're trying to change the permissions of people. So we're going to go in here. We'll find a, one of our Google drive folders and I'm going to go down here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Here's one for you. So this one I just set up yesterday. There's not, there's some files in it. So we're going to go here. So the two things you can do this first, you could do right clicking on the folder and go down to share and click on the share icon. So you hit share and it'll take you to this screen. Now this is the screen we want, but I'll show you another way to get here. You can also double click and open the file folder. And if you go to the top, you should see these, these people here because these are the people that are, are sharing the folder already. So you're gonna click on that and it's gonna open up this little box, same place we went before, but it's just a different way to get there. Um, I think it's important to show you more than one way. But what you can do is now you can choose the people and see I'm the owner on the top guy. Um, and then you have, here's my brother and he's an editor. So I can change that by clicking a little down arrow right here. And I can go to make him a viewer, but an editor, he can organize, add and edit files. Now I can make him an, an owner of the, the, the folder. If I make him an owner, I get knocked down to editor. So if you ever change someone to the owner of the file because you want them to take over it, like you're quitting a job or something, or you want them to take over the project and you want to deal with it anymore, you can do that. But when you make them the owner, watch what happens. Now it gives you a warning. Make this person the owner. The new owner will be notified and could remove you. That's right. They get the power to remove, do anything they want, since now they're going to own, own this folder. You also might lose the ability to change share settings. Now, so that's how that's what happens with the the owner if you change an owner. I'm not going to make him the owner because I don't like him that much. Um, so that's how you do that. So that's how you change the permission of the people. But now here's something: if you add someone to it, here's this little share setting up here. Now when you add people, the editors can change. So this this folder is set up to have the editors change permissions, and they can share. Now, I'm okay with that in this, but if you unclick that, then they don't have that ability anymore. Setting, update, editors can't do that anymore. I'm okay with it, but some some people you share folders and files with, you might not want to do that. So that's how you um, change the share with people settings. So if you don't want them sharing with other people and inviting people into the folder, you can actually block that, and it's really nice. But once you're done with all that, um, just hit the Done button, and there you go. And that's how to change Google Drive folder permissions, and it's very easy. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.